So that's my first ever time taking the shisha, okay? Hey everyone and welcome back to the second video of my Iraq series. So my last YouTube video about Iraq actually got translated into Arabic and shared on this huge Iraqi news outlet on Facebook and that got like 400,000 views. So thank you so much for the overwhelming support. Got a lot of Iraqis messaging me on Instagram. For everyone, this is my Instagram, this is my YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you so much and follow along the journey to every country in the world. So today we are exploring the city of Baghdad. We're looking at some sites, some statues and yeah, come along. First impression, the military presence in Baghdad is tremendous. There's military checks on every street corner and it is overall very difficult to film. But overall it was very chill, we went to some statues, he told us the story of 1001 Night. Essentially there was a ruling king who invited over girls to his place, slept with them and then in the morning he killed them. But then one day there was a very smart lady who told him a story and the king was so much into the story that it was the morning again and then he couldn't kill her. So she wasn't killed and she kept telling him stories for 1001 night until she ran out of stories and was killed. Assalamu uh, alaikum uh, min Iraq. Nahnu <laughs> min Almania wa anna adrasu al Arabi wa anna uhab al Iraq. Welcome, welcome, welcome my friend. Shukran. We then went to this really fancy looking place in Baghdad. It seemed super international, a lot of international flags. So we're now in this like artsy place where there's a lot of paintings, a lot of old things, traditional things. So beautiful. We ordered some food and it looked pretty delicious. Jan, so we just got some, um, some food, some amazing platters. We have, everything is actually vegetarian other than the meat there. What meat is it? Of, of which animal? Sheep. Sheep, oh wow. Ah, interesting. Yeah, and the rest we have some tabula, we have some aubergines, some potatoes, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and some hummus. Looks amazing. After exploring the city for a bit longer, we sat down at this other fancy place by the river. I was very interested in this because this is the side of Iraq that we usually don't get to see. So I really wanted to try some food here and as well, I tried shisha. Okay guys, so I've never tried shisha in my entire life. Like I've never like smoked it on anything. And it was the first time that I'm trying shisha because I, I felt like here in Iraq, it's so embedded in the culture that I have to try. So that's my first ever time taking the shisha, okay? <laughs> Show us how it's done properly. This is not a lemon though, let's in the side. The smoking there is two types. There is the cigarette and there is the shisha. The cigarette is by mouth, like, but the shisha is from Balang directly, like. Irgendwie sieht's bei ihm entspannter und irgendwie smoother aus. For the evening we went back to the center and our host dropped us off in the middle of the city. Okay, so our host just dropped us off here in um, in Baghdad and he said we can go and um, and do some shopping right now. Shopping, yeah. Yeah, so we're now alone for three and a half hours exploring the, the city and soon it will be dark actually. Yeah, so um, the German foreign ministry says that it's not a good idea to be alone in, in Baghdad and definitely not during the night. Yeah. Um, but we're now here at this like shopping street, which I guess is is fairly safe compared to the rest, maybe. I honestly have no idea where we are. Yeah, we don't we don't have Wi-Fi. We don't have a, a phone to call anyone. So it's a bit random what we're doing. I think the catch is that if there's a certain two-letter organization who wants something from us, they can basically just pick us up here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So as you can see, we were kind of scared to go through Baghdad on our own. But honestly, it was super chill. It reminded me of Jordan. We sat down in this cafe with this glass front and it was just really beautiful. The people were really friendly. There was a lot of nightlife going on actually. And it was really, really chill. So yeah, Baghdad, if it wouldn't have been Baghdad, it made a super chill impression on me. I can't deny that. One thing that is really interesting about Iraq is that you don't see any like foreign people here on the streets we're literally the only ones um, like there's no other um, people here 
And a lot of people think we're from America, but of course we're from Germany. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really interesting because there's no like foreigners here on the streets. And most, most travelers that visit Iraq just go to the Kurdistan region in the north, but we wanted to do the, well, proper Iraq. So we came to Baghdad. One thing that I do want to address is that Hitler's book was sold on the streets everywhere and the hate against Jewish people and the state of Israel is immense. So I'll make a whole other video about this, but not right now. Overall, the people are very friendly. We bumped into this protest of something. I don't know what was happening. So behind me right there, you can see there's some, some protests going on. I don't know for what exactly. Um, maybe we can research a bit into this, but they're holding like uh, pictures of certain like leaders or whatever. I don't know. So yeah, our second day in Iraq was a very interesting one. It showed me Baghdad from a side that I have never seen before, that I would not have expected either. And um, the people were really, really friendly. Thank you so much to everyone for watching my Iraq series here. Follow me on Instagram at the German Travel Guy and follow me here on YouTube at the German Travel Guy as well. And I invite you to join me on my journey to every country on the planet. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.